Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this is the Biostar Hi-Fi A85W motherboard. This is a Socket FM2 motherboard, and they're recommending the use of the A10 processor with this board. And it's the A85 chipset. And we'll take a look at the front of the board here. Smart ear, Hi-Fi ground, Hi-Fi power, Hi-Fi amp. Dual link DVI, super speed, uh, USB 3.0, Windows 8 compatible. Take a look at the side there, and the top, the other side, and now the back. We'll go through some of the features. HDMI 1.4, smart ear. Let's take a look. You can increase or decrease impedance settings to optimize your headphone performance. Hi fi capacitors. Hi-Fi resistors, there's the Hi-Fi audio, Hi-Fi amp built in, Hi-Fi ground, Hi-Fi power, dual link DVI, electrostatic discharge, um, that's pretty cool too actually, six phase power, USB 3, power remote 2, DDR3 2400 overclocking ability, smart speed LAN, and Windows 8 compatible again. So it looks like the hi fi in there is mostly referring to the audio, so for high fidelity audio. So this board is basically saying that this, their um, you know, onboard audio solution is excellent. Okay, so first inside we start out with a rear I.O. shield. Then we have a cable tie made out of Velcro. Pretty cool. And it was holding four SATA connectors. And then we have a driver disc. It's always better to check online to make sure that you have the newest drivers. Then we have a manual. Now we've got the board itself. Okay, I will get it out of the plastic and we'll take a look at it. Alright, so here is a good look at the board. We've got a black PCB and mostly black, ac uh, black connectors and everything with a little bit of blue accents in there. So it's kind of a, kind of a nice looking ATX board here. So let's take a peek starting down here we have our front panel audio there then we have a uh, SPDIF out We've got the IR there there's a COM port we have a 3 pin system fan 2 USB 2.0 front header so that could be for 4 ports we've got a little power button and a reset button there we've got the front panel connectors for um, activity lights, buttons, on off buttons, speaker, that type of stuff. Spinning around there we've got a LED post and then we have eight SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors so that is awesome right there. There's a 24 pin power and then moving along there now we have our uh, four DDR3 slots each slot will support up to an 8 gigabyte DIMM, so you could have 60, or excuse me, a 16 gigabyte DIMM, according to the motherboard. Uh, so this will support up to 64 gigs of RAM in four slots, which is quite a lot, really. That's, yeah, that'd be a bit overkill uh, for a board like this. And then we have a uh, CPU fan header here that is a four pin. Got our CPU socket nice heat sink here over the power delivery and there for the four pin power for the CPU let's see let's flip it around this way looking for the other fan header there it is right there there's a three pin fan header and that looks like it rounds out the fan headers and then back to the front of the board so oh there we go there's our USB 3.0 uh, front panel header which not in the most ideal location there, but it's yeah, it, it's doable anyway. So, anyway, let's take a look at the uh, 
expansion slots, we have two PCI Express by one. We've got, uh, and these are all 2.0. There's a 16x slot here, and then there's a 16x slot here, but it's only uh, running at four, so this would be a little bit lower of bandwidth. Then we have two legacy PCI slots. Now this particular board here supports dual graphics to where we can pair the integrated graphics in the APU with a dedicated graphics card. Uh, I would recommend a 6670 in this case. So running the 6670 here and the APU here in the BIOS we can uh, get the two combined and make a crossfire configuration there. Um, however you cannot run crossfire with two graphics cards here or SLI this board um, does not support it at least according to the manual okay so we'll spin it around there oh, there's our uh, Puro Hi-Fi uh, sound chip there and now we'll go to the rear I.O. we have a keyboard port two USB an HDMI DVI and VGA two more USB 2.0 two USB 3.0 and then we have gigabit ethernet up top and HD audio out so a very nice very uh, nicely featured ATX board here um, yeah so that wraps up my unboxing and quick look at the BioStar Hi-Fi A85W motherboard again socket FM2 and as always thank you for watching